Welcome to the next video in the series on SQL Lite programming. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use SQL Lite with Python. Now, Python is an open source programming language, um, freely downloadable to most platforms. And uh, it's actually used by the Google App Engine and the folks at Google as well. So it's become quite popular over the last number of years. All right, let's get into it. Um, Python actually comes with SQL Lite baked in, so you just have to start up the Python interpreter. So you go like this, P oops, Python. Very straightforward. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right, there we go. Um, so you'll notice that it's Python version 2.5, and you can do various other things. Now, SQL Lite comes baked into Python, so you don't have to uh, install anything else. You simply go import. SQLite 3 and that now whoops that gives you access to um, the uh, SQLite 3 API now in um, in Python you have um, just like in any other language that binds to SQLite you have a, a small number of APIs you have a connect API that creates a new database file or opens an existing one and, and gives you a handle to the database. You have an execute API, uh, which executes your SQL statement. Uh, and then you have a close API to close the database. In addition, there's a cursor object in Python that lets you iterate through the results. And, and that's more or less it. So let's walk through a couple of examples. Okay, so you go the connection, that's a database connection, equals SQLite 3 dot uh, connect and I'll call it uh, B. Whoops. <laughs> All right. And now if I look at the connection object, it says it's an SQLite 3 connection object. Um, in fact, if I quit out of Python, and if I do Python star dot DB, and I'm looking in my file system now, you'll see that there's a new file and it's, it's just been created. So I'll go back into Python again and I'll say, oops, connection equals SQLite 3 connect to the Python SQLite DB. All right, whoops, oh, I have to go import, that's right. Import and then connect, okay. So now that I've done that, uh, I'm actually going to create a cursor. So I'll just say c equals, oops, c equals con dot cursor. Don't show this message again. There we go. <laughs> Gotta love Windows. Okay, so now you have a cursor object. And if I dump the cursor object, you'll see it's an SQLite 3 cursor. Um, the next thing to do is is to um, is to create a table and then add some content to the table. So the first thing I'll do is I'll go c dot execute. I'm going to and in here I'm going to execute an SQL statement to create a table. So I go create table. This is just standard SQL from SQL Lite uh, test, and it'll have an ID which is an integer and a name which is text. Oops, and that's about it. Okay, so now it's created this table. Yeah, I know, I have to prove it, but we'll get to that in a bit. Now what I'm going to do is insert uh, a few things into this table. So I'll go insert into test, that's the table, values 1j. Okay, so that's the, that's right from here to here is the SQL statement that I wanted to execute. And it executes it. I'll, I'll, and what it does is it adds a row into the table with one and J. I'll do a few more rows. Do two and K. I'll do three and Ray. Okay, so then, actually before I do that, um, now in, in programming, obviously you're not going to build strings every time. You actually want to, you know, be able to have a generic statement and pass in values. So you can bind parameters. 
And the way to do that is, is instead of specifying the values, you just do question marks. And then at the end of it, you can pass in a structure with, uh, let's say, for and, and may. Oops. Okay. So what, it, what I've done is I'd say insert into test the values question mark question mark and for the first one you put in a four and the second one you put in may. And again it gets in. Believe me it gets in. <laughs> Another thing you can do is when you, when you program um, you don't you may have values coming in from our other parts of the program in variables. So for example let's say you do new ID equals five. Uh, Right, it says it's five. Let's say you new name equals Shay. Right, and it's Shay. And then you go where am I? C dot execute. So instead of instead of putting in actual parameters, I'll just say new ID and new name. And it got into the database. Now uh, this video is kind of useless unless I can prove that. So the next thing I'm going to do is, uh, oops, I'm going to execute a statement that um, that queries the database. So I'll go, oops, select star from test. Okay, so now. Uh, now I have a cursor object. Now what I'm going to do is iterate through the cursor. Oh, sorry, before I do that, actually, I have to assign that result to something, so I'll call it my rows equals. Okay. And if I do my rows, dump it out, it's a cursor object, which is good. Okay. So then I'll go um, for row in my rows colon this is Python, so you have to indent, print, o, 0. So SQL Lite returns an array of arrays. Um, so, the, so the first row in my rows is, this row variable is the first array. And in that first array, you're picking out the first element, which is the ID. And then you pick out the name, which is row 1. And then if you return, you say, hey, great. Now what's interesting is it shows 1J, 2K, 3 Ray. Now if you remember from earlier on, 4 May was done by binding uh, binding hard-coded parameters. And the fifth one was done by binding um, binding variables. So you can, you can, uh, you can, uh, that proves that binding variables and, and the inserts and the create table all works. The next thing I'm going to show is in the select statement you can also um, you can also oops you can also have a parameterized um, so for example uh, yeah actually so uh, yeah select star from test where uh, name equals question mark okay now what I've done here is is um, name is the bound parameter and in the bound parameter I'll just put new name okay which we remember was set to something I think it was Shay so let's have a look everything executes fine if you go my rows it's a cursor so then we'll go and print off for row in my rows print row somewhere in there there's a row zero come on alright print row zero and print row one, and bingo, it's Shay because if you remember, new name was set to Shay. So in this video, I've shown you that you can create a table, you can insert values into a table, uh, you can insert values with bound parameters, you can uh, query the table using a select statement, and you can do selects with bound parameters. Those are the basic operations of using SQLite. If you want to get into anything more advanced, you really have to uh, look at the um, SQL Lite API and the and the SQL API to do more advanced things like multiple tables and joins and whatever else. So that's basically the video. If you enjoyed it, um, please please rate the video.
and uh, post a comment if 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 you'd like to. Um, when you do that, it uh, it actually makes the video easier to find in in YouTube and wherever else. And uh, that's.